Okay, welcome to your 17th CSS and HTML tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be putting together a very simple page layout which will encompass a few of the concepts we learned from previous tutorials. So to begin, let's create a div element and let's give it an ID of container. This will be our container, um, our parent container of our other div elements. So we're going to say ID container and let's give it a style, we're going to say uh, container uh, we're going to give it a width uh, let's say 900 pixels and let's give it a height let's say uh, one, let's give it a minimum height minimum height, let's say 1000 pixels the minimum height is, uh, we, we, we say minimum height instead of just plain old height because the minimum height if the, the element the content of that element goes um, beyond the, the specified height of a thousand the uh, element will simply expand in relation to the, the width the height of the the, um, the inner content okay that's why we say minimum height okay now minimum height 1000 and let's give it a background color let's say gray Control S to save and let's preview this in our browser. As you can see here, we have our, our parent container, the width of uh, 900 pixels and the height, the minimum height of 1000 pixels. Uh, it is, as, it, as, as it stands right now, it is shifted to the left, so let's um, center it on the page. So we're going to say margin left, auto, and margin right, auto as well. Control S to save and let's preview it in the browser. As you can see here, it's shifted to the center of the, the page. So within that um, parent container, let's put in three additional containers, three div additional div elements which will represent our header, our our content, and our footer. So we're going to say div uh, ID equals header. Uh, let's copy this down two more times now we're gonna say this will be our content and this will be our footer and let's put some text in here let's say header uh, content and footer so let's, uh, let's preview this in the browser Control S to save. Okay. Now let's uh, let's give the header uh, some CSS style. So we're gonna say make reference to the header. Let's say the width is gonna be a hundred a hundred percent, right? That was gonna be a hundred percent of the the inner the, of the container of the width of the container. So the width of this header will be nine hundred pixels as well. And let's give it a height. Let's say um, 50 pixels, and let's give it a background color. Uh, let's say let's give let's give a hexadecimal um, notation here. Let's give it um, a purplish color. We're gonna say pound uh, four four zero b eight uh, eight. Okay, Control S to save, and let's preview this in the browser. Okay, as you can see here, this is the the header. Um, we gave it a width of a hundred pixels, a hundred percent, which will be the entire width of the container. Okay, now let's give a style to the um, the con the content. Okay, so we're gonna say content. Let's give it a width of a hundred percent as well, and let's give it a height. Let's give it a height of let's say 900 pixels, and let's give it a background color. Let's give it a background color of green. Control S to save it, and let's preview it in our browser. As you can see here, this is our header, our content, and let's style the footer as well. So we're gonna say footer. Uh, let's give it a width of 100% as well 
and a height of 50 pixels and a background color of blue control s to save and let's preview this in our browser okay as you can see here the the, the footer is is placed below the, the content okay so this is our typical layout so let's now also we're gonna put we're gonna separate the content we're gonna say we're gonna give a content left here for our navigate our left navigation and we're gonna give a content right here for our main um, content area so within the content within the div element for the content let's put in uh, two additional div elements so we're gonna say div uh, we're gonna give it an ID of left let's say content left to be more specific and let's put in some text here and let's copy this down one more time uh, let's say your content right and let's say content right in the text control s now um, let's give these two elements content left and content right some css style so we're going to say content left we're going to give it a width of um, let's say 200 pixels and we're going to give it a height of um, let's say the full height of the, the content area which is not which is 900 pixels so we're going to give it a height of 900 pixels as well and let's give it a background color uh, let's give it a background color of let's say gray and let's make let's style the, the content right so we're going to say content right uh, let's give it a, a width of um, 700 pixels and let's give it a height of let's give it a minimum height Let's give it a minimum height of 900 pixels as well. Okay, and let's give it a background color. Of red. So control S to save and let's preview this in the browser. Now watch what happens. As you can see here, the 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 left, the content left, right, it's in place with within the, the, the content element. However, the content right shifts is shifts out of place out of the content content area okay now we can rectify this um, by simply saying this we're gonna say content left float left and content right float right control s to save and now let's preview this in the browser as you can see here the content right now floats into place on the right hand side of the content area and the content left remains in place on the left hand side of the content area now this is a very simple typical um, page layout using CSS and HTML uh, with this layout you could um, continue your, your, your page design um, adding additional features okay so this will be your 17th CSS and HTML tutorial so thank you for watching this tutorial and do ensure that you subscribe and you view for the tutorials. Thank you.